Hi, I'm going to teach you about Plickers, which is an easy way to assess students and get data back to guide your teaching. The best thing about Plickers is it doesn't require every student to have a computer and you can still get amazing data. Every student will get a Plickers card. On your Plicker card you can see there's an A, a B up here, a C, and a D. The student holds the card with whichever letter they like to respond with at the top and then it's scanned like a QR code to receive their responses. Here's an example of a teacher holding an iPad and scanning student cards to get data back and get their responses. I use it as a formative test once a week to kind of know where my students are, realize which concepts I need to reteach. Let's take a quick look at the website. You'll go to plickers.com, then a few things you need to do, make an account. After that, you'll go to cards. Here's where you can get um, blueprints to print out the cards, all right, that each student will need. There's several different sizes. Then I'll show you how to use it. So you'll go to classes. First, you go create a new class. I'm going to name mine Hogwarts because I like it. Then you can add students by typing their names in here. So we'll get Harry Potter in here. Then Hermione Granger. She is the brightest witch of her age. You could also just paste a bunch of students' names in here in the add roster section if you wanted to mass copy and paste them in. After that, you'll go to library because you'll need to create some questions. The library function is pretty easy. There's folders where you can store questions. You'll click new question, create the question here. I'm going to say who is your favorite student at Hogwarts. Then I'm going to say Harry, Ron, Hermione. Everybody's going to choose Hermione. Then you would say save the question or save and create a new question. Um, once you have your question, I'm going to use an old question. You can come down here and you can press add to queue. And then you can assign it to each of your classes. Like your Hogwarts class you just created. After you've assigned questions to your class, you'll want to go to Live View when you're ready to use it with them. So if I go to Live View right now, it is going to be connected to my iPad. All right, And I have assigned this question to my first period class. And then I'll go around with my iPad, scan their cards. And then once I get their responses, I'll be able to see them all here. You can do a few things. You can reveal their answers so you can see what they answered, though I don't usually do that in class. But you can also see a graph to see what everybody answered and how many people got it correct, which is really useful. The last thing I'll show you is reports. If you go to score sheet, it'll show you a bunch of data. I'm going to show you that score sheet data here in this presentation. So first of all, your students' names are, would be over here on the left-hand side. I have mine cut off. But you can see what percentage they got on all five questions that were asked. You can see this student got a little lower score, and you can see which questions they missed. So it helps you know how that individual student is doing. You can also go by question and see, oh, they did good on this question, but this question was probably the hardest question that was asked, so you might need to go back and reteach that subject. You can also see the overall score for every student for the whole class right here. If I go to my fifth period, I can see that they did a really poor job on this question. Only 40% of them got it right, so then I know this is something I need to reteach, the roadblocks that kept Utah from becoming a state. Whereas most of these other questions they did good, I might recover this subject as well. Some of the great benefits besides that data are there's no lab required. That's probably the best part about it. It's really quick. 
It usually takes me 10 minutes at the beginning of a class to give this quick formative assessment where I can get a ton of data back. The students also get a lot of feedback on their response and how the class is doing. And you get all this data where it's really easy to evaluate how they understand a specific piece of content or how an individual student is doing. The only real drawback is that it's only multiple choice for possible answers. But overall, I'd say the benefits far outweigh the drawbacks, so I would highly recommend Plickers as a tool for you in your classroom.